Good afternoon and welcome to our flagship symposium. I'm Judith Phillips, Professor of Gerontology at Stirling University and I have great pleasure in being your chair for this exciting symposium addressing some of the enduring themes in gerontology over the last 50 years. Reflecting back over the 50 years, many topics have come and gone, waxed and waned, many very nicely detailed in a book on the evolution of British gerontology by Mim Bernard Moray and Jackie Reynolds. Topics such as caregiving and carers, dementia, health and social care, work and retirement and social relationships. But for today's symposium, we have chosen two key topics that have endured as areas of interest in gerontology throughout BSG's history. Topics which have been have presented continual challenges to policy and practice and have taken on increased significance in the current COVID pandemic. First of all, poverty and inequality, and secondly, environments of ageing and the meaning of home. Our speakers today will explore what has changed and how these fields have developed over the last 50 years. And within the 60 minute symposium, two speakers will consider each topic. One to consider the past and enduring nature of the topic, and one to consider the present and the future. And we will have questions after each set of presentations. So please put your questions in the chat. Our speakers today need very little introduction. They've been major contributors to our understanding of gerontology and have changed policy and practice in their respective fields. The first topic then, poverty and inequality. The past will be introduced by Alan Walker and Alan is Professor of Social Policy and Social Gerontology at the University of Sheffield and co-director of the newly established Healthy Lifespan Institute. Alan's research interests span a wide range in social analysis, social policy and social planning and he was the first recipient of the BSG's Lifetime Achievement Award. Alan's contribution will look back at the critical issues of poverty and inequality and how gerontological research has contributed to a better understanding of them. The future will be introduced by Professor James Nasru and James is Professor of Sociology at Manchester University. James' research has focused very closely on the consequences of socio-economic inequalities in later life and the processes that underlie these. And here he will bring that work together with his work on ethnic inequalities and the literature on gender in later life to discuss why and how we need to focus on underlying power structures relating to class, patriarchy and racism if we are to address the accumulation of inequalities across the life course and their impact on later life. Over to you, Alan. For our second theme then, I'd like to introduce Sheila Peace, Emeritus Professor at the Open University and former president of the BSG. Sheila draws on almost 50 years of research experience in environmental gerontology to consider how places and spaces contextualize personal experiences of the meaning of home in varied environments from ordinary housing to care home living. And Dr. Melissa Fernandez Arigutha is lecturer in urban futures at Lancaster University. And over the past 10 years, Melissa has explored the social, material, professional and historic life of co-housing projects in the UK and elsewhere. And she will share ideas about the possibilities collaborative initiatives hold for a future of greater social connectivity and well-being. Over to you, Sheila. Thank you.